Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Southern California Seismic Data video. Um, I'm actually going to be making a video on the live stream that I've been doing. So, not too long ago, North Carolina just had a 5.1 to strike in... What, what city was it? Sorry, I'm checking my phone. Sparta, North Carolina. Holy moly. Okay. And unfortunately not much showed because here in Yucca Valley you can see little waves there and here in Los Angeles as well but not much shows up here um, near nothing shows up on the Raspberry Shake here in Manaphy but you can see P wave and the S wave here little jolt there then you can see it's starting to show up on the what's it called the Infiltex seismometer here in Menifee. So yeah, P wave, P wave, S wave there. And you can see little jolts there. And then on the spectrogram, you can barely see just like a little jolt there. Oh, barely even visible, unfortunately. But yeah, here you can see a little jolt there. Let's get forward here. And then afterwards, you can see a little bit of the surface wave. So here it's first start showing in Menifee, then in Mammoth, and then a little bit in Santa Barbara as well. And it actually gets pretty large. For it being a 5.1. So, and yeah, nothing really showed up on any of the raspberry shakes here. So yeah, P, w P wave and the surface wave hits. And yeah, that's what the seismometers picked up. Alright. So let's see how far this was from our seismometers. Might be a bit slow, because I'm still keeping the live stream running. There you go. Five point one. Oops, not Dutch Harbor. Five point one North. 84,000 felt reports. Holy moly. And if you were actually in the city of Sparta, you could have felt shaking up to 6.0. Holy moly. That must be terrifying for someone who doesn't, for people who don't usually have quakes. Even for someone who does usually have quakes, because it's still unexpected. What the heck? Oh yeah, this is also something that I've noticed. If a 5.1 was to occur, let's just say, right here in Santa Barbara, it would probably be felt as far as like, I don't know, like Banning, or Ridgecrest, maybe even like some areas in Vegas. But if a 5.1 occurs like all the way, like in the, somewhere in the East Coast, it can be felt all the way up to like New York, Vermont, Boston, and at first I thought like these people would be lying, but there's lots of reports there. Obviously everyone in this area felt it, but still, it's crazy. Because the shaking must be like amplified on the east coast. That's insane. Alright, so let's pull this up on... Let's open Google Earth first. Now let's pull this up on Google Earth. Oh. 
Sorry again, it's gonna be a bit slow because I still have the live stream running. Bunch of tabs open. Alright, let's put in the coordinates. So yeah, there's no faults that's gonna that's going to like be showing here. Neither any plate boundaries. But if you guys can see like this like area of like mountains here almost like folds in the land. That's the new magic seismic zone. Usually they only have like one point oh, two point oh, maybe even a three point oh every once in a while. But 5.1 is crazy. I mean, it's possible, but like, it almost never happens. So I just find that insane. Alright, let's see how far this was from our seismometers. Oops. Just over 2,000 miles away. So yeah, that's super far. That's probably why we didn't get super good readings. So yeah, that's that. For the for Google Earth, and is there anything else to show? I don't think so. So yeah, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Hope you guys have a good day, night, whatever time it is for you. Make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Sorry for that there weren't many good readings this video because the quake was actually kind of far far away. But still, I just find it crazy that it even happened in the first place. Hope everyone's okay in North Carolina. And I will see you guys again in the next video.